When you hear the term global infrastructure, all that means is how available something is across the globe and where on the globe you will find their hardware and data centers. At the moment, Google's global infrastructure spans across 35 regions with more on the way. Beyond that, there are 106 zones, 173 network edge locations, and Google Cloud services are available in over 200 countries. This means that you have access to the GCP suite of products nearly all across the globe. That's an ode to just how strong Google's global infrastructure is. A region in cloud computing is simply the geographical location of your cloud resources. We often mistake where our cloud resources are simply because of the term cloud. When we talk about the Google Cloud, these are the regions where you will find your Google Cloud resources. The further away you are physically from the region, the worse your connection latency will be to that region. Therefore, it is recommended to use regions that are geographically closer to you or closer to your ISP's routing. Within a region, you will find three or more zones, depending on the region. As a general rule, you should understand that communication within a region will always be quicker and more cost-effective than cross-region communication. The network edge is generally defined as the place where a device or local area network connects to the internet. It is called the edge because this is the entry point to the network where devices themselves are communicating with the internet. Google Cloud offers connections to Google Cloud services from over 100 locations. Edge networking provides the lowest latency possible and saves bandwidth. These sites are sometimes referred to as points of presence or POPs. The set of POPs in active use can change without notice. Equipment maintenance, equipment failure, the introduction of new POPs, the removal of old POPs, and other events are possible changes that can occur within POPs. We talked about the network edge and how it sits at the edge of the network and allows you access into the internet. You should understand that beyond the network edge, there are actually three types of POPs which are called Edge Pop, CDN Pop, and Cloud Media Edge. An Edge Pop is an ingress point, meaning it's your entry point to quickly get in and access your GCP resources. A CDN Pop is an egress point, meaning it's for the quick delivery of files, assets, and cached websites. And lastly, Cloud Media Edges are specifically for content delivery, such as videos. I mentioned that you have three or more zones within a region. Let's take a deeper look at what zones are. A zone is a deployment area for Google Cloud resources within a zone. Zones should be considered a single failure domain within a region. To deploy fault tolerant applications with high availability and help to protect against unexpected failures, deploy your applications across multiple zones in a region. Resource scoping is basically how you would want to map your resources within the regions and zones. Scoping can be performed on the following metrics. Whether your resource is zonal, meaning it is in a single zone within a single region, or regional, meaning multiple zones within the same region, or multi-regional, meaning multiple zones across multiple regions, or on internal services that are employed by other GCP services, like Cloud Spanner, and lastly, global resources that reside globally with the whole concept of regions and zones being abstracted. There are limits and boundaries to where your data can physically be stored, depending on government or organizational policies. This can be broken into two parts, the core data residency and the compliance boundaries that apply to it. Data residency is simply the geographical location of where your resources reside. Compliance boundaries are where your resources are allowed to reside in. For example, your company or organization may not allow you to place your resources outside the United States, and so for that you would have to ensure that your resources reside within the United States regions and zones. Within GCP there is a feature known as Assured Workloads. That allows you to add elements of security control to your environment. With Assured Workloads, you can manage data residency, resource access control, and encryption of your data.